Hi students, today we will discuss chemical reaction. But before understanding this, it is very important to understand the physical changes and chemical changes. Physical changes, such change in which the nature and identity of the participating substances do not change, it is called physical change. Like, tearing of paper, the nature of the paper remains the same before the rupture and after the rupture, there is no change in it. Second example, folding of paper. Third example, melting of ice. The nature of both ice and water is the same and both have the same chemical formula. Fourth example, sugar dissolve in water. Many such changes can be seen around us. After physical change, the substance can again come in its old state. Chemical changes. Where a change in the nature and identity of the participating substances, it is called the chemical changes. After such change, the substance does not achieve its old state. Like, burning of paper. After the burn, the nature of the paper changes. Burned paper is called ashes. The nature of that ashes differs completely from the paper. Paper cannot be made from ashes. Second example, ripening of fruits. Ripe fruits differs completely from raw fruits. Third example is the formation of curd from milk. There is a lot of difference between curd and milk. Milk cannot be made from curd. Many of these changes can be seen by all of us. This is all chemical changes. Chemical reactions. Chemical changes are called chemical reactions. So the chemical reaction will be defined as such reactions in which the nature and identity of participating substances change is called chemical reactions. Or, such reactions in which chemical changes of participating substances occur are called chemical reactions. Examples. Rusting of iron, ripening of fruit, formation of curd, burning of paper, food digestion. Reactant and product. Reactant, which substance take part in a chemical reaction is called reactant. Product, new substance formed after a chemical reaction is called product. Example, H2 react with O2 to give H2O. That is hydrogen react with oxygen to give water. Hydrogen and oxygen are reactants and water is product. Second example, Mg plus O2 give MgO. That is magnesium react with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. Magnesium and oxygen are reactants while magnesium oxide is product. Why should a magnesium ribbon be cleaned before burning in air? Answer. Magnesium is a very reactive metal. It reacts with gases present in the air and forms a layer of magnesium carbonate on it, due to which magnesium ribbon burns with very difficulty. Therefore, the magnesium ribbon is cleaned with sandpaper before burning, so that it burns easily. Please subscribe to my channel, so you can get information about all my new videos. Thank you for watching my video.